legend in the UFC. A fighter needs someone to push him to be great. McGregor had Diaz. Jones had Cormier. And Silva had Sonnen. Each series didn't just pit the best against the best, but it matched up rivals that had personal scores to settle. And when the octagon door shut, the bad blood reached a boiling point. Who will be the one to step up and put this feud to rest? Or give up bragging rights once and for all? All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. All right, so here he is making his way to the octagon, and it's these type of matchups, Joe, that really can create superstars and produce UFC history. This is a rivalry fight. These guys have been jawing throughout fight week. They don't like each other. And here in short order, this rivalry is about to resume on the greatest proving ground in all of mixed martial arts. This guy is an elite submission fighter. He has a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu game. And if he gets this fight to the ground, he will have a distinct advantage. What a pop from the crowd as this guy makes the walk. Such a well-rounded fighter. And you got to think when the opponent breaks him down on film, not a lot of weaknesses jump out of the video. This is a true mixed martial artist. May not stand out in any one area, but plus skills across the board. Probably comfortable just about anywhere this fight goes tonight. This guy has world-class choking techniques in all varieties, be it guillotine, choke, rear naked, Dars, anaconda. If this guy gets a hold of your neck, you've got problems. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach as well. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 41 wins, 19 losses, and two draws. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Nate the Great Marquardt! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. And we are underway here live from Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. All right, so the rivalry resumes here. Here we go with round one. And let's see who can get off to a good start here tonight. Maybe we'll see a little bit of a feeling out process, but both guys have said, don't worry about my emotions. Once that octagon door closes, I will let my skills take over. Let's see how it goes here early, Joe. Nice. 
Oh, multiple strikes landing here. He has certainly found the range here in this round. Marcourt gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. Marcourt gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. He's doing a real good job of landing those punches. And a nice kick. And, and he here's comes the knee. The big knee. Oh, man. That'll make you forget your childhood. Throwing that jab, no good. Marcourt gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. They continue to exchange. Marcourt gets in the clinch. He got tagged there. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. Oh. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. This could be it. Oh, straight right. Jab followed by the right hand. And now starting to snap off that jab. Well, he's big shots. He's, he's got him hurt here. Man has his chin been tested early. He hurt him with that hook. A huge roundhouse kick for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, this fight was over as soon as that kick made contact. And you want to credit the offense and not denigrate the defense, but he did not get the guard up. And against this type of striker, you are absolutely playing with poison. So a near-perfect kick spells the end of this one here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Take a look at this from a different angle.